Hello, everybody, and welcome to my Gateway Experience. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Joel Fernandez, and the purpose of these videos is to document my journey through the Monroe Institute's Gateway Experience. The Gateway Experience is a series of six waves with six tapes in each wave, and I am currently on the fifth tape of the first wave. It's called Exploration Sleep, the tape is, and the wave is called Discovery. The next wave coming up is called Threshold, but before that, I need to go ahead and listen to the next tape, which will be Free Flow Focus 10. I believe that'll be the last tape of this uh, first wave. And uh, it's going good. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, go ahead and check those out as I will be referencing uh, all the lessons that we've learned and some of the things. If you're just tuning in now, that's fine too. Um, just know that if you want to get some kind of reference point, uh, it's best to kind of go back and see what's going on, see what I'm talking about. And uh, it's a pretty good experience so far. It's definitely not bad. It has been fun. And the exploration sleep tape is all about really remembering the process of remembering who we are and what we are that we all go through when we go to sleep. It's part of our sleep cycle and it is amazing. Today was my ninth time doing this tape and today is episode 31. So. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, looking forward to doing this practice more and more because today was fairly productive. So let's jump straight into it. Right now it is uh, Sunday, September 25th, 2022, and it is 8.41 a.m. This morning I woke up right around 6.50 a.m. Last night I went to sleep around 11 p.m. So I woke up nicely and with really no stress, no worries, and I went ahead and did my morning routine, and then I went ahead and did my exploration sleep tape. And when I did it today, it was quite good because I feel like, you know, doing it for nine times now, consecutively, I am becoming more adept. I'm not just like a complete beginner where I have no idea what's going on, even though I'm still very much at the beginning, it's not uh, as disorienting. I can see a little bit in the dark there while I am sleeping. And what I mean by that is, the analogy that I kind of thought about is a lot like surfing. I've never been surfing personally. I've been wakeboarding, and but I can kind of understand. It's the best thing that I could think about, the picture that came to my mind. If you've never been surfing, that's fine as well. If you have, you'll definitely understand this. But if you haven't, just try to imagine when you go out to the ocean and there's waves all around you. Um, maybe there's no waves yet, but there will be waves coming. And so you're swimming out there to the ocean and you see the wave coming and you're paddling, paddling, and you wait until the wave comes um, to get on your surfboard. And if the wave is too big and you don't know how to maneuver it and uh, you've never done it before, maybe, uh, or you've never surf the wave this size before, then what's going to happen is you're going to go under, uh, most likely. You won't be able to stay up. It'll be too quick, too rapid, too chaotic for you to be able to stay above the water. I think that this tape, Exploration of Sleep, is a lot like that. At the beginning, I was I kept saying, hey, you know, I'm losing awareness. I don't really know what happened. I don't really know where I was or where I went. But that's not the case anymore. I'm learning to surf a little bit on these waves of consciousness. And I think that's the best way that I could relate it because I stayed a little bit above the water. And so I want to kind of uh, relate that to you and share that with you guys today. So as I went into my uh, pre-preparation process and then into my focus 10, 
I'm much more comfortable in that state and I am much more aware and familiar with it. And so uh, I'm also aware of my own self and my own voice and I'm allowing myself to let go and to just let the experience um, guide me and the um, sounds to, to create that rhythm that we need. So that's what I did. And um, what I've done before when I did that is I kind of, well, first I was trying to force it and I was trying to more or less create my own experience. Then I let go and then I was like losing awareness. Now it's a little bit of uh, different because I can tell when I'm going into that deeper state of sleep and I'm remaining aware that I'm going into it. So now I can guide myself and I can use my intention of where I want to go and what I want to see, more or less. So I think that's the best way to put it so far. Um, for example, today, I was, uh, as I was thinking about how nice it would be to float upward and to uh, just rise upward and to, to go higher, I uh, realized, okay, it's not so much that my like, hey, I am separate from the body or I am separate from the oh, out of body experience. Like the out of body me is separate from my physical body. That might be the case, but that's not the way that I'm going to be able to experience it. So I just said, hey, look, you know, this is who I am and I am here now. And uh, if I go up, I go up. If I don't go up, I don't go up. That's totally fine. And it would just be so nice to be able to do that. And then as we went into like rolling over like a log, or just turning, um, turning over, rolling over, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, as I turned, I realized, okay, this is kind of, I, I started to see the picture of what it is that they're telling us to do. And I think it's good that it's taken me this long to really see it because now I really know it. And what it is, is like, if this is me, um, I've got to just like think, okay, hey, it would be really nice to go up, but it's not like I'm going to go up because I'm still here. So what I have to do is just really, and this is kind of what I did today, is just roll over like this. Just kind of like turn over like this. And then go up so that I can look down and see myself. I think that's the best thing that I want to happen. Um, and it's kind of what happened today. It's just that uh, I didn't, it wasn't as controlled as I would have liked it to be. But what did happen was I, what I was able to control was I um, started thinking of like people that I wanted to go visit. And the main person that I saw, like I could really feel like I was like, oh man, this is actually kind of working, was my wife. Obviously, I was like, I wonder what she's doing. I wonder what she's doing. And then I saw a kind of like a bird's eye image of like what she was doing. Now she was wearing different clothes but uh, like than what she is today, but I just liked the fact that I was able to at least see it and experience it. So that's a very small little baby step. And so moving forward, I'll be able to calibrate and, um, and see like, hey, what part of it is my memory and what part of it is, the, is me being out of body and being there, you know? So just progressing one day at a time. It's a slow process. Uh, what I think I'll do is I'll probably, once I'm done kind of making all this footage um, and I have like one big experience, I might like do a compilation video of like everything together leading up to that experience. And kind of like the, the lessons that I've learned and everything else. So. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for um, just because after that, another thing uh, I went, I after that experience, the, the sounds went away. I was much more aware and able to control myself coming back to my body. Because it's weird how we don't, I don't, I don't really associate with my body when I'm in that state. I'm more associated with my intentions and my energetic body, I guess. Uh, so coming back to my body can be a little bit disorienting, but I was able to do it with much more control. And now that I've got more of a system down. So yeah, um, that's gonna do it as far as my experience goes when I came back and everything. 
But um, for you guys, let me see if I can come up with a question real quick. Um, yeah, I guess, have you ever had an out-of-body experience? Uh, you know, like, uh, I would love to hear about it. And I would love to see a video of you having a, a, a story about it and uh, communicating and sharing it with everyone. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. Peace.